Uh, good day folks in this video we can take a look into migrating name node role from one server to another okay so again uh, there are uh, multiple ways to do this so if you have a high availability enabled then you can use that migrating wizard tool which is already available in cloudera manager but in my case my HDFS is not HA enabled, so I have only the single name node instance available. Okay, so I'm using a completely manual approach. So I'm migrating uh, this name node role. Okay, so I have an active only one active name node. I am migrating this into a newly added host. So, uh, so these are the steps. So first, you need to add a host okay so if you are using existing host okay fine otherwise so you need to add a host so i just added a host so you can refer my previous videos on how to add a new host using add a host wizard so i have added this host and which is uh, in healthy state and okay fine so my plan is now to uh, migrate so an existing hdfs name node to this new uh, node Okay, the first thing uh, we need to do is definitely add that host if you are adding into a new host then stop the services okay from all cluster then stop so it will take some time okay so this service is stopped now okay so now uh, so uh, we will uh, check uh, the DFS name directly okay so where the name node files are uh, there so we'll go to the configuration and uh, search DFS dot name dot dir so this is the directory so this directory so we have to take the backup so go to the machine where our existing name node is running and take a copy of this one so go to this node and take the backup Okay, so I log into that uh, particular node. Okay, so this is the node uh, which we want to do. So, okay, so go to the name node and 154. Go to that node and uh, go inside this directory and check what are the files and check the permission also. It's on by HDFS HDFS. So what I am uh, going to do here is so uh, just let me go back. Okay, so this entire DFS. I am trying to uh, copy so for that purpose okay for my easy copying purpose I am just compressing this tar uh, set cvf okay so dfs dot tar dot gz to dfs okay so this is relatively small file now check the size so around 28 kb so now i need to tra transfer this file from this location to newly added a node okay so for that purpose i'm just copying this file to uh, my users like a slash home hd user <coughs> directory and because hd user has the passwordless connectivity to any node so it's easy for me to copy so hd user give the ownership and the group for that particular user on this file okay so then uh, let me log into hd user so i'm just logging to hd user just for easy copying purpose scp this one to the destination where i want get the host name of the machine so where i want to copy so use that then colon slash home HD user that's it so this is copied now I can go back to this machine and see whether the files are reached here okay so go to uh, this one slash home HD user then tar okay so what I am using is star uh, hyphen zxvf dfs dot tar then let me go to uh, uh, unzip inside this slash location 
okay so this is the location i mean if i go go to slash i can see the dfs directory here and if i type ls l okay so maybe dfs uh, will be on by root and root but check the permission here so go to uh, the root directory then ls l so dfs is on by root only okay so go to inside the dfs what is the permission you need to set the same permission so inside that it's hdfs and hadoop okay, use the same permission dfs okay fine the permission also preserved not a problem so uh, that's it so that is a one second step so you need to uh, turn off the services and the copy the dfs dot name dot directory so where the name node store all its uh, persistent files so you can take a backup so you can use any method to transfer this file so either you can use win scp or any uh, file transfer tool to transfer this into some location inside the new machine so next come back to the cloudera manager window select hdfs then go to the instances then uh, delete the service select the service and the action for selected then do a delete option delete okay so you will get a error message okay so no problem we can ignore that then use add role instance okay uh, select the name node Okay, so the new host name is 237 something ending with 237 so yeah so this is the node again there is nothing is there so select that then okay so the remaining services are leave as it is continue then use the same directory uh, that we already copied i think uh, it's we use the default location I mean so slash dfs and nn is the directory which we already did right so ls hyphen l and to verify so we copied the files to here yes fine so otherwise if we copy to some other location use that location here then finish okay so now uh, so we can see the some stale configuration and redeployment so you do that then uh, start all the services okay so default fs is changed okay so from uh, this one to this one then i'm just trying to do a redeploy then uh, start all the services okay so redeployment has completed then uh, we can uh, start this cluster service just go to the cluster then start so it will start all the services so we will have to wait some time so it will start hdfs and yarn so my cluster will contain only very limited uh, services so if you based on number of services this time depends okay so we started all the services and uh, we will wa wait some time so hdfs is showing some warnings go to the instance i think all the services are up so now it is running in a uh, different uh, machine so we will uh, okay so what is the status so okay so this will go away in a moment because this is the first time we just started the service so initially this uh, warning or this error will be there because it will be in the safe mode so for some time and uh, everything will be okay after some time so we can just verify in the command prompt like hdfs dfs iphone ls slash and uh, see whether we are able to access the name node content so whatever the contents uh, there earlier contents will be still there so there won't be any data or metadata loss in this case so this is how we can migrate okay so the cluster is in a good and healthy state so we just migrated the roles uh, i mean the name node role from one host to another by using the manual approach this is the one only the name node is running but here the name node is not running only the other components are running 
i hope you like the content so please subscribe to my channel and keep watching thank you bye